Now, guys, here's some bittersweet news. Luke Cage season three has, is going to be renewed, but it's expected despite the Iron Fist cancellation. I wonder how they're going to work that in. Are we going to get cameos of Danny Rand in Luke Cage season three, or how's that going to work? But uh, anyway, Netflix is expected to renew Luke Cage for season three. Marvel and Netflix have been partners in creating original content for the last few years, and have made six series in total. There's been four main series that led to The Defenders, and then John Bernthal's The Punisher got the first spinoff, and that was lovely. One of the four main heroes to get their own show was Mike Holter's Luke Cage. The first season debuted in 2016, and I remember not really getting into it at first, but then coming into it like about the mid-2016 or early 2017, and it was pretty damn dope. But the second season arrived earlier this year, which I definitely enjoyed. Um, I'm actually going to start reviewing uh, the Netflix series. From now. I wasn't going to review Luke Cage, but I decided, and I was like, ah, I'll wait on it. But I'm definitely going to be reviewing season three of Daredevil and season three of um, Luke Cage and possibly Jessica Jones as well. But anyway, both seasons of Luke Cage were pretty well received, but they also had their detractors. Despite many looking at season two as an improvement, there's been no official movement on a third season. The possibility of that happening may have looked worse following Netflix canceling Iron Fist after two seasons, but that decision will not impact the future of Luke Cage in a negative fashion. And I kind of find that a little surprising only because I'm so used, I don't know about you guys, but I'm so used to seeing Danny Rand make cameos or be referenced in Luke Cage, you know, because 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 it's, because it's a bromance, man. They're homies, for real, on and off camera. So it's just kind of weird not to see Danny Rand, and it's going to be weird if we don't see Danny Rand in season three of the of uh, Luke Cage in some, in some way. But I do hear that they might just move uh, season three of the Iron Fist to Marvel TV or something like that, or whatever they're developing. Um, but anyway, Deadline included the, the nugget of, in, of info in their report of Iron Fist's cancellation that Netflix expected to renew Luke Cage for a third season. The timetable for such an announcement isn't confirmed, but it could happen, and I quote, any day now, according to the outlet. It will obviously be up to Marvel and Netflix to decide when an actual announcement is made, but it's a good sign that a renewal is, is expected. A continuation of Luke's story is desperately needed. After how the second season ended, Luke has effectively become the new king of Harlem, and even maybe going down a bit of a villainous path. How Luke is able to handle his new power is expected to be a big part of the third season, according to Coulter. And I did a video on that as well. I'll definitely be, uh, if you guys have not, have not seen that, I'll be sure to uh, leave the link to that video in, this, in, in the description box of this video here. Um, he'll obviously be back to star, while Shio Hardy Coker is expected, although not confirmed, to return as a showrunner. If this is true, that's good news for the series, but it could also provide an outlet for some Iron Fist characters to live on. I like just like I said, and I was so and like yeah. So, Danny Rand, Finn Jones, and Colleen Wing, Jessica Henwick, have both become close to characters from Luke Cage, specifically with Misty Knight, Simone Missick, and she's just a beautiful woman. I love all those characters, man. They're, they're wonderful, and people. And the third season of Luke Cage could give Luke Netflix a chance to bring them back. We continue to tease Heroes for Hire and Daughters of Dragon of the Dragon. All of this will need will still need to be determined by Marvel and Netflix. And even if they decide against it, Luke Cage has season three is still expected to happen. When it'll come isn't clear either. But if Luke Cage is renewed soon, a 2019 release should be possible. And I and that's what I look forward to the most, man. I really do, because it, it's been a while. Like I said, I love me some Luke Cage, and I love me look. I love all of the main shows of Marvel on Netflix, man. I, I'm a big fan of that. And I definitely cannot wait for The Punisher to, to drop and Daredevil. So I definitely will be doing reviews on each episode of that as well. Um, so I, I'm actually getting ready for Daredevil Season 3 when it drops on Netflix. I'll be doing each episode if I can. But uh, this has been your boy, Sherry Sweets, man. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. If you guys have any topics you guys want me to do videos on, let me know in the comment section below. Or feel free to private message me on the back side of my YouTube page in my inbox. And I'll let you, and I'll let you know if and when I can do the video. One love.